Thank you for watching this short video, which is part of the Lenten series of Reflections for the Heart. I would like to share with you now a direct channeling from Christ, the Cosmic Christ, for this session. <clears throat> I love you for who you are, not for what you do. Many voices vie for control of your mind, especially when you sit in silence. You must learn to discern what is my voice and what is not my voice. Ask my spirit to give you discernment. Many of my children run around in circles trying to obey the various voices directing their lives. This results in fragmented, frustrating patterns of living. Do not fall into this trap. Walk closely with me each step of the way. Each moment, listen to my voice. because when you listen to my voice, you will understand the directives I have for your life. Refuse to let other voices tie you up in knots. My sheep know my voice and they follow me wherever I lead them. What a beautiful reflection. <clears throat> and so true. I meet many, many beautiful souls in my work here as an enclosed monk, either by telephone, by email, or by visits to the door of our little monastery. They come so fragmented, so discouraged, disillusioned, some almost at the precipice of suicide. I've also seen beautiful, individuals join our community who did listen to the voice of their God to come and join us as a member, as a monastic. But then in time, other voices were guiding them. Voices more to do with their ego, that they were above what we do and the life we lived. So they followed that other voice that led them down another path, but a slippery path, a path that will eventually engulf them and they will realize the error of the ways and come back knocking saying, I'm sorry, let me in. But then there's a client group that I befriend who are, who are affected by mental illness, severe depression like myself. And when they hit rock bottom, they, they really do hit it big time. And that's when the other voices kick in. Voices that disempower them. Voices that leave them feeling so vulnerable and fearful. Voices that tell them they've no worse. Why bother trying? Why bother praying? Living the monastic life <clears throat> is not maybe your cup of tea. It is certainly mine because I spent too many years listening to other voices and they weren't always the voice of the beloved. But to listen to that voice, all that's asked of the heart is to surrender to love, to stop chasing dreams, to stop fighting yourself to name your fear, to bless it and release it, to name that other voice, bless it, release it, and be still and receive the gift that God has prepared for us. Our journey isn't about running away from truth, it's running towards truth. And the more we run towards that truth, the more we, we sense a fulfillment in our life, that we are doing what we are meant to do, and there's a peace with that. 
that brings inner contentment. Is that where you are today, where other voices are leading you astray? Well, all you have to do is to sit quietly. After you've watched this video, be still, light a candle even, and use your gift of free will and call on God and speak as you speak normally to friends and just say, hey, I need your help. Will you help me discern your voice from the many other voices that seek to cause entrapment or death of my soul? And you'll be surprised. Help will come, maybe as a phone call, maybe a knock on your door, a friendly face. But you will have an encounter from someone who will bring you hope. So you see, discerning the voice of God, it's not difficult because you will always know the voice of God. It's soft, it's gentle, it's affirming, it doesn't condemn. It doesn't alienate you from yourself, whereas the other voices that can be quite condemning and ruthless, harsh even. So let us just recap. I love you for who you are, not for what you do. I love you for who you are. So it doesn't matter what we are. We could be a pole dancer, a lap dancer, a nun, a monk, a prostitute, a drug addict. A prisoner. God wants the heart, not the talent. He wants us to be still and receive a precious gift from his sacred heart. And he just says, ask my spirit to give you this discernment. Many of my children run around in circles trying to obey the various voices directing their lives. So all you have to do is to take responsibility for where you're at and trust your heart. Your heart is your best teacher. If you need help, then contact us. But in the meantime, God knows who you are and I shall pray for your intentions. Namaste.